Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, this is your host, SD6589, from Stormtrooper Gaming and Happy Kali Gamer. And today, we are going to um, learn how to make body armor for your stickmen soldiers in TSRP. But before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that like button and also that notification bell. Ring it. So you will never miss another video. Anyway, let's continue. So, now, turns out there's already been another video by another YouTuber on how to make armor. But this one is a lot more sophisticated, although it's just a lot more simplified and it doesn't require like that much glitching also your uh the right hand doesn't turn into a shield <laughs> all right so we're gonna see how can we make armor but not only one type of armor different kinds of armor for different soldiers maybe you wanted armor for your swordsman choose like a kind like yeah, that's right. We have a, uh, a type of armor for every single stickman soldier you can possibly think of. So, anyways, you have to get your weapon first, of course. You have to get these things a weapon. So, of course, if you chose swordsman, oh, you chose swordsman or knife guy, well, make this armor. Okay, so you use metal beams. Oh, by the way, turn off the grab tool so it makes it a lot easier. Now I put it over the guy's head and put it like that. Or maybe you want extra perfection. So you just do it all the way until here. And boom, you got your swordsman armor. Of course, this is only for the helmet. But if you wanted to add some more body armor, you can do so. But... Like I already tried to make body armor for the uh, for the torso and the legs, all that. But ultimately, they make the soldier just walk like a tiny mush of strawberry jam. <laughs> but yeah, either ways, either way, you can actually use this kind of armor. For your swordsman troops. Okay. You can use this for your swordsman troops. And for your military needs. Okay. Next up. We need um, spearman armor. Alright. So you want to make a... Oh. So you wanted to recreate the scene of 300 in TSRP? Well... I've got the perfect tree for you. Now, this time, we're doing the same as the swordsman, but this time, we had two extra slots, two extra areas. So we do like this at first, but then we cover it, so the whole face is just covered. Also, you might realize that, turns out, this is not effective, so... You might want to have, uh, turns out, there's two different subsets for the Spartan armor. So, this means, um, there's actually, um, two subsets. So, the first subset is, like, um, exactly like the swordsman. Yeah, that's right. It's like exactly like the swordsman. So you could use swordsman armor for spearman armor too. You could do... Oh, it turns out there's three subsets. So this is the first um, subset. And then the second subset, you can add a third, um, a third line down here. So it looks more like a Spartan. And the third subset, you can just cover the whole face. So it looks like the logo for Roblox. But either way, I think I like the second preset, uh, the second subset, because it gives you like this sense, like this guy is a Spartan, he's heavily armored. Um, 
Yeah, so... Yeah, you could use regular swordsman armor, you can use this armor, or you can use the armor which looks like the logo for Roblox. And then, well, you're done with the spearman armor and its subsets. Um, next, you might actually want some, uh, maybe you want to have some armor for an officer, maybe. Okay, I'll give you that. So, um, you have your classic officer's pistol. After that, um, turns out you just need to, like, make a kind of just... Oh my gosh, no. Um, so I just do it like this. This is also, like... Um, a swordsman armor so you could also use your regular swordsman uh turns out no you can use like maybe some extra details this is like some extra details for the officer with like three fins that extend from its head this actually is like a trying to make the 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 officer a little more distinct from the other swordsmen and um another type of armor that we'll talk about soon but yeah this is how we do it this is how we do it <laughs> anyway we're gonna just put our our things like it's a sun rays like we put the sun rays Like that. I know, it might look like a Native American kind of commander, but hey. Oh. Oh, wait. Turns out we need to put more screws. Um, take the pliers and remove it all. Right, next, we want to work on... If this is not working, you can just try and attach screws over this area turns out you can actually try to make screws all over the body and now you have your officer helmet which is similar to the swordsman helmet except um there's like three lines of uh, metal beams extending from his helmet so yeah this makes your officer a little more distinct from the average soldier and spear. Yeah, this is the armor to use for your officers. And finally, you want to have armor for your shotgunners and riflemen. Well, we're gonna talk about those. First, for shotgunner armor. Okay, this is... A little more, a little more weird, but it's still the best. So this time, you're giving your, um, your guy a kind of glass visor. And plus, um, he will also get, now this time he will only get one, like, one, no, 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 no. Two lines extending out from his helmet. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's two instead of three helmets. Also, the arrangement is a little bit different. It looks like, um, you know, it looks like Chappie. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know that movie Chappie, right? There's this kind of robot guy. And he has these weird, like... <laughs> oh my gosh. There's some weird, like, wings or flaps on the areas where the ears are supposed to be but yeah this is kind of like it but this time it's a human uh and not a robot All right i put a glass visor okay this is the armor for your shotgunner i know this looks kind of unconventional <laughs> But that's exactly what warfare is all about. Making new... Hey, I'm making a video here. Hey. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right, so. Now this is how you make your shotgun armor. You always need to make new armor and guns and warfare. So we're going to see this guy in action. Turns out his shappy ears work pretty well, but he accidentally stepped on the glass visor. So, yeah, you could actually just remove the... You could actually just remove the armor. Yeah, you can... So, maybe... Turns out, you know what? Your shotgun ar your shotgun armor. Yeah, don't make it don't make it have a visor, okay? We've already agreed on this multiple times already, so just don't put a visor on your shotgunner's armor. Also, you might want to actually make this the chappy style flaps a little bit longer. This is the armor for your shotgunner. Now for the last type, the rifleman. All right, what you want to do for this? Um, this is pretty much very Soviet Union style, but who can blame me for that? All right, so um, now we're gonna make the classic swordsman helmet and make it stay there. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. We're not going to make it stay there. We always need to make some special features for it. So now, this time, this guy will have a glass, a glass visor, which protects his face. Yeah, that's right. This is actually a glass visor. Right. Now, this is the armor for your riflemen. So, yeah, this is pretty much very Soviet Union stuff. But it includes all the major things that a soldier needs to have. This helmet has a has an actual visor. Yeah, we might have to actually just make the armor of the rifleman just the regular swordsman armor. Because if you... Or maybe you could add some extra details. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna think of a new rifleman, a new rifleman like armor. Okay, this might look something like a patriot with something, but <laughs> well, you know what? Who can actually blame me for that? Okay, so now choose this moment. After that, you want to actually put, like, um, you just want to put a metal thing on his, no, 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 not like that, not too close. You know what, no, we're, not, screw it. we're just gonna keep it like this. After that, you're gonna make his, his back look like the back of an eagle. Okay, this might sound too patriotic but okay okay i can do this there you go boom now this time oh oh <laughs> right so hold on hold on hold on hold on well, pause time. After that, we want to actually have like this, okay? And after that, um, we're gonna have his. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, this, I know this might. Look like the like the the ears of a rabbit, but okay. So this is the armor for the head. Now it's time for the body. Now we'll put um that thing, and after that, okay, like this. So now, this time, 
This guy will have shoulder plates. This is actually for the military, so yeah, this is a, uh, this is a video not only for like people, but it's also for the. Um, sorry, I didn't. Okay, so here's the helmet. It looks like this. That's the helmet. You can. Uh, so you know, I'm gonna do it again. All right, now we have our person here. Um, now we're gonna pause time. Oh my gosh. This process is so tedious. All right. Now this time, we're gonna have it to be a little more, like, conventional. It's gonna, it's totally gonna work. Um. Alright, so. Now what you wanna do is to just no, no don't do this so now this time we'll have like okay so first off you turn on grab and then you take the one of the man's hands you also turn on turn this bar up so um, it's gonna work so now So he's gonna be like a soldier this time. So now we're gonna give him No, uh, we're gonna give this soldier short Shoulder plates Okay, you know what don't do it don't put don't actually put uh, shoulder plates. Instead, what you should do is that you're gonna take your helmet, pause time. After that, okay, try to adjust it, makes it, make sure it's good. After that, the classic chappy ears, but this time, it's a little bit different and looks like this person has the antlers of a deer. Looks pretty familiar because, like, Deer Simulator is all about a deer infecting humans with trying to deerify the whole world, but, like, it's okay. Let's actually try to do something here and make sense. All right, now you got this. So basically, the helmet needs to be like this. All right, next, what you want to do is body armor. But actually, you just have this um, extending down to the waist, like this. After that, you have these. Like, you have these, like, um, protrusions. And boom, you're done with your soldier armor. I know it doesn't look like the best, but hey, guess what? You could actually remove the armor and just leave yourself with the head. And that's it. So, yeah, this is the armor for your average rifleman. It looks like this. I know, this guy may have the antlers of a deer, but it's okay. You could also just use regular swordsman armor. You could also just use regular swordsman armor if you are going Soviet Union style. Turns out, you know, just pull him. Right now, you can actually use him for combat. All right, guys. Now you know what different types of armor you can use for your own troops. Hopefully, this advice will be helpful next time 
when you are facing a battle against your enemies in TSRP. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to click that like button and also that notification bell so you will never miss another video. This is your host, SD6589, Stormtrooper Gaming, and happy kind of gamer. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.